Hi everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels and today I'm going to show you something that you've never seen in WordPress before and that is creating sales funnels for your courses without WooCommerce. That's right. We have this special add-on called the LMS Funnels add-on for WP Funnels using which you can create sales funnels for courses that you've created with our supported LMS tools. Right now, we are compatible with LearnDash, so all the courses you create with LearnDash, you can create a sales funnel for that using WP Funnels as long as you have this add-on, all right? So in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration of how this works so that you can create uh, a sales funnel for your courses, all right? So let's begin. As you can see, I'm on my dashboard and I have the following plugins. LearnDash is the LMS tool. I have WP Funnels, WP Funnels Pro and WP Funnels LMS Funnel add-on, all right? So these are all needed for this, okay? So let me just go to WP Funnels in a new tab and here you can see I haven't created a funnel yet, uh, but I'll tell you before I start, I have created a few courses in LearnDash. Those are just dummy courses, all right? I didn't put any data, but I'm just gonna show you how to use your courses in the funnels, all right? So I'm just gonna click on create your first funnel and you can see I have a template. I can just import this and this will add all the steps. And there you go. Now you can see I have just imported a funnel and it has all the steps, the landing, the checkout, the upsell and thank you. So this is a four steps funnel template that I imported. Okay, so now I've told you that I've created some dummy courses uh, for this funnel. So I'm just going to show you how you can assign the courses so that it goes step by step and people are getting offers. So initially there's the landing step and then there's the checkout where you actually uh, make an initial course offer. Okay, let me just click on settings and uh, here you see you have the option to choose which course to offer. So I'll just choose this course one, which is basically a free course I've created, all right? And once someone enrolls to the free course, I've, uh, I'm gonna make him, you know, enroll to a paid course. So I'm just gonna choose course three, which is basically a subscription, okay? So there you go, I've assigned the products. Once I've assigned the products, the next thing to do is to design the pages, okay? Now, you might have a question, why is there a checkout step here? You see, in LearnDash, normally when someone comes to enroll, they go to the course page and there they enroll and that's it. Now they'll watch the course and then next they might enroll to another course, you don't know. You might have to run email campaigns and stuff like that. But here I'm just creating an opportunity so that you can make more course offers to the person. So in the checkout step, a person will get a summary of what he's enrolling to at the same time you can make an order bump offer there so that you know they can choose maybe a higher level course of the same type and just you know choose something that is more profitable to you and then you can make an upsell offer afterwards when they have already uh, enrolled to one okay so in this one i'm just creating a funnel where i've offered a free course all right and then i'm gonna make him uh sign up for a subscription all right so initially you have to design the landing page if you click on edit this will open up in your preferred page builder edit mode. I've chosen Elementor as my preferred page builder. If you choose DV, Oxygen or Gutenberg in the WB file settings, then that's where it's going to open up. So here you can see this is the landing page. And uh, here, this button is actually our widget, which is called the next step button. All right. So you can just go to the uh, widget area, scroll to the very bottom and there it is. Okay. So uh, in case of the landing page, to take them to the next step as in the checkout uh, for them to accept uh, or enroll you need to you know use our next step button okay so then you can customize the whole page so once you're done let's go back to the canvas and let's edit the checkout step then once i edit this uh, you'll see there you go it's opened up and here you can see this is our widget this is basically the lms checkout widget for wp funnels which you can actually get in the widget area at the very bottom under WP Funnels called LMS Checkout. So let me just edit this. And on the left side, you can see you have a lot of customization options here. Uh, you can just uh, change this text using this. So rather than saying order details, you can just say order review. There you go. Uh, then you can change course details into something else. Let's say course summary. All right, so you can make these changes. You can even change this text. This course will change your life. So there you go. So you can make this description changes and you can see it's updated. You can also change this plan details to plan, let's say plan, or maybe offer, offer plan. 
So there you go. So this is a free course. So you can see it says it's free. The course fees is free. You don't have to pay anything. Okay. So then they can just click on take the course. All right. So once you're happy with this, you just click on update and that's it. And uh, then you can just move back to the canvas. And here it's time to edit the upsell page. So let me click on edit. And uh, here you can see this is the upsell page here. You can just describe the offer uh, for the course you have. And here you just mention what's the price and this is basically our widget all right so this is the accept button this means clicking on this will let him enroll or if it's a paid course he'll be able to get getting the options to make the payment and clicking on this one this is again the same widget just that you change it to reject type which means someone can reject this offer and you get this widget in the widget area at the very bottom called the elements pay button all right so once you're happy with this page uh, your funnel is pretty much ready but uh, you can also show a summary in the thank you page let me just show you you click on edit and here you can see this is our widget this will give a summary of the courses uh, they've enrolled to throughout this funnel journey all right so once you've edited all the steps and you're ready with your funnel uh, you're ready to launch it so let me just preview the landing step and there you go this is the landing page i've designed and you can see i can click on this button uh, if i'm interested all right so let's say i am i'll just click on get the course now and it will take me to the checkout step now on the checkout step you can see that this is giving me the preview that i had in my builder okay i changed this text this is giving me a summary of what course i'm enrolling to you can see the price you can take the course by clicking on this all right now you have surely noticed that this is where i'm already logged in what happens to people that are not logged in because in learn dash they cannot enroll uh, to a free course even if they're not logged in right so for that what you have to do is you first need to enable login and registration in learn dash and then you have to allow people to register if you also want to uh, offer them to register on the go so let me just show you how to do that let me go to the dashboard and uh, you can go to learn dash and settings and here you need to enable login and registration what this will do is this will allow uh, buyers to come and when they see they have a chance to enroll they also will have a chance to log in all right uh, what this will do is this will open up a model which uh, learners provided for the login all right and at the same time if you want them to register on the go as well you have to enable uh, something in the settings if you go to settings to general and here this option called membership you need to uh, enable this one anyone can register what this will do is this will open up a model uh, for them to either register or log in okay let me give you a glimpse of that uh, let me go to the checkout page i'll just copy uh, the link and i'll just open a new incognito window so there you go now i'm just gonna open this page here and you can see that this one shows this icon this icon means that i'm not logged in okay so when I click on this, this opens up this model. Here I can register on the fly and then log in or I can just log in if I'm already registered, all right? And after doing that, it will take me back here to complete the enrollment, all right? So I'll just cross this out and go back and I'm already logged in. I'll just click on take the course and you see it's enrolling me, all right? Once enrolled, it takes me to the next step, which is the upsell step. And in this step, you can see uh, it's the same copy that I had and if I'm enrolled, what will happen is if I click on this, it's going to say I'm already enrolled and it's going to take me to the next step. Or if I'm not enrolled, if I click on this, you can see it's giving me the option to pay. Now, PayPal is the only option I've enabled right now. If you have more options, they'll come below it. So I'll click on use PayPal and it will ask me to log in to pay. All right. Now, uh, I've already set up a PayPal sandbox. So I'm just using the sandbox here to show you how the payment works. Okay. So there you go. And now I'm just going to click on continue. And since this is a subscription, this is necessary. And there you go. The payment is done. And once I click on return to merchant, it's going to take me back to the thank you step where it gives me a summary of the courses I've been going to. And here that you have the option to click on view course and go to the course page. 
all right so there you go that's how easy it is to use wp funnels and create a sales funnel for your courses using learn dash or other supported lms's that we will have in the future okay so one specialty of this is again i don't have woocommerce you can see i don't have woocommerce i'm creating a sales funnel for courses in wordpress without woocommerce all right so this is the first i'm sure you haven't seen it before and uh, we will continuously improve this uh, over the time okay and obviously i'm going to create more videos on this so that you know how to use the right order bump or how to use the right upsell and uh, so that you can use this effectively all right so thanks for watching this video i'll see you in a future video take care